What's up everybody? So let me share with you an outdoor store that is completely crushing it. They've done over 50 million a year and there is a ton that we can learn from it. So in this one, we're gonna basically review their whole brand identity, their whole website, their marketing strategy, and a very specific thing that I learned from them. This is actually how I discovered them on how they're using TikTok to create a very personable brand and also you know expanding their brand awareness for free so as you see the store is called retrospect and it's a super clean website in the outdoors niche they sell all sorts of things i could you know i would consider this a super store they sell a ton of different products ranging from bikes to snow goggles you know anything that you can imagine related to outdoors the outdoors niche obviously as you see here incredible niche super consistent continuously rising and very much a good cause in my opinion you know getting people to spend more time outside is always a good thing but as you see here for example let me show you their landing page here so you can see that it's extremely clean i love their brand aesthetic they've spent so much time you know cleaning it up as you see and by the way they've done 50 million in 2020 which is pretty insane revenue obviously 2020 was a huge year but i'm sure this has continued to go up and you see their landing page is pretty interesting i mean it's very clean but super simple at the same time um right here you can see they're using this smart tactic they're showing like the traditional uh cost that a retailer would charge you and then showing their cost uh, which is a lot lower very smart idea it's kind of like this is what direct to consumer is all about it's like disrupting the regular retail supply chain and yeah super clean website overall but here's what I mainly wanted to show you is how they're utilizing TikTok because it's super cool. So let me show you this video that's going viral right now. In three days, this has over a million views. And it's basically them showing the CEO just, you know, being happy in their warehouse. And like, it shows him as like a good leader. This makes the brand look so good and it makes him look so good. And, you know, overall, this is just like a very wholesome video and something that was probably very easy to make and it's going viral. So this is a great example of how you can use TikTok for a brand. And I do think this is the future right here is basically making your brand more personable, making sure that people understand who they're supporting, who they're buying from. That's gonna give you a huge edge. Now let's take a look at, I mean, they're doing a lot of that when it comes to organic. And I don't think they're actually reposting that stuff on their reels. Let me see. Oh, they are. So they are starting to post all of their content from TikTok to Instagram Reels. They should, of course, do that for YouTube Shorts as well. If you guys are not doing that at Retrospect and somebody from there is watching, you should definitely get on that. But let me show you their ads. So this is how they're mainly driving traffic. I mean, they're getting over 180 different results. Pretty insane, right? I mean, they got so much content that they're using for ads. And as you see, they're doing videos, they're doing images, all ranges of things. So this is why this is such a good skill to learn paid ads. I mean, if you can combine paid media and organic, like how they're doing, this is literally the magic formula. So that's what I try to study the most. And that's what we try to do at Akemi the most. So make sure you check us out if you're a similar brand like this and you want to continue to grow. But that's basically all I wanted to show you. I'm still traveling, as you see. So still got this little setup. I'll be back soon, though. Don't worry. Just be patient. I'm still trying to just learn every day, though, and try to pass down what I learned to you guys. So hopefully you're enjoying this these videos, even though it's not the ideal setup right now. You know, the information is still the same and it's still applicable. So, yeah, that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe to the channel for more. Use our link in the description to start your own store on Shopify, of course. Best place to do it. One of my favorite companies in the world. And that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.